themes. Destiny. Macbeth was happy until the witches intervened. After their prophecies, he changes. Everything he does is aimed at making the prophecies come true. They do, but not in a way he wants, and every success is also a defeat. The question is, though, did the witches make this happen, or did they just forecast what was going to happen? You'll have to decide those for yourself. Ambition. If everything the play says about destiny is a little ambiguous, what the play says about ambition is completely clear. Ambition is a transforming poison. Macbeth was not just a common soldier before the prophecy. He was known for being good and loyal, but one hint that he could be king and he betrays everything. Appearance versus reality. No one can trust their eyes in Macbeth. Appearances and reality have nothing to do with one another, or as the witches say in the very first scene, fair is foul and foul is fair. This applies everywhere in the play. The way that Macbeth and his wife frame others for Duncan's death, the appearance of Banquo's ghost, the blood on Lady Macbeth's hands, and of course, Burnham Wood marching. Men and women. Throughout the play, there's upheaval between men and women. The witches have beards. Lady Macbeth is concerned about her husband being too gentle and begs spirits to unsex her. And just about every character is concerned with being manly or womanly at one time or another. This tells us how the period saw violence, but also how its world has been turned upside down. In an ideal world, the play suggests, everything has a proper place. Men act like men, women like women, and ghosts stay in the afterlife. And good generals stay loyal and don't kill their kings.